You've awakened my adventurous spirit and pushed me to bigger and better things, which I know I can achieve with you by my side. I'm the best version of myself when I'm with you, and I'm hugely looking forward to the next chapter in our lives. Welcome to this wonderful occasion of Helen and Anthony's marriage to one another. It's a great joy um, for us to be here to witness um, their vows, their giving of rings, um, their, us blessing them on their way. I, Anthony James Rodney Loft, take you, Helen Josie Newcomb, to be my wife, to have and to hold. From this day forward, from this day forward, in the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Helen Josie Newcomb, take you, Anthony James Rodney Love, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Helen, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time, in exactly the same way from moment to moment. It is impossibility. It is even a lie to pretend to, and yet, this is exactly what most of us demand. Relationships must be like islands. One must accept them for what they are here and now, within their limits. Islands surrounded and interrupted by the sea and continually visited and abandoned by the tides. Anthony and Helen have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Please will you rise and join me in a toast to Anthony and Helen.